What's up everyone, Aaron here, and today I'm going to be adding to the channel's catalog by taking a quick look at Unique Toys' Palm Collection, set number 3, Blue Cat and Naughty. This is their take on Brainstorm and Mindwipe. Pretty sure they're meant to be the Headmaster's cartoon from Japan, the incarnations of them. We'll get into that later. And you probably sort of recognize these figures as the uh, basis for Mac Fans Toys uh, oversized KOs of these characters that are pretty widely available. Uh, these originals are a little harder to track down though, so. But we're going to take a quick look at them and see what makes them unique in their own right. Right, Unique Toys? Let's get into it. So, no box today for these guys. I picked this set up used, but I would imagine that they included instructions as the other four sets did. Uh, other than that, the only other things you're going to get with them as accessories are their headmasters and their weapons. So, Brainstorm has his two blasters here that you can just tab into the sides of his starfighter here. And they're cool little blasters. You can retract the barrel if you want to. Just done in this same teal plastic that they use for a big chunk of his body here. And just black class cast plastic here on the barrel. And a little bit of silver paint there on the fins. So that's cool. Mind wipes gun. You can port it in either of those holes. And it looks pretty good. Looks sort of similar to the one that you kind of see him using. I mean both of them do really. So the style as far as the sculpt looks good. And it does have a little bit of silver paint detail in there. So that's cool. And like I said, for storage, you can just stick him on his bat back there. Now, as far as their headmasters go, you have spots for them both to sit. You can pop up and brainstorm here. And there he is. And there actually is a dash of paint on his face. A blue visor and yellow face paint. Other than that, you just got Brainstorm's actual head on the back and just this leg articulation here. So you can have him sitting. So that's pretty much all there is to that. For him, Mind Wipes, you have to untab his robot legs here off his back to get him out. And he just kind of hangs out in this cavity in his back. And... I mean, for how tiny this is, there's actually some nice sculpted detail. Again, two stripes of paint, better than nothing, for sure. Mind wipes face on the back, and again, the same thing. So, send him back in there, and then just to close this back, you've got, a you know, a spot here for this tab. Like so. And there you go. So, let's take a closer look at these guys. We'll take a quick look at Brainstorm's Starfighter mode here. And the colors look pretty good. It's got some nice metallic blue paint on the canopy here. He's got landing gear here on the back of his robot hands. And you have landing gear here that you can fold up and down. Coming out of the back of his leg. And, you know, it's a little weird looking, but I think it works for what it is. I mean... It definitely gives off a fly vibe to me. We'll look at Mind Wipe's chunky bat mode here. And he's just a big chunky bat. I do love this bat head though. Looks really nice. And silver paint here. And on his feet slash hands. Silver up here. He's got nice silver detail all over really so. And on his tag specs part here, which does fold down and reveal those. You can see those easily in both modes for him. You can only see it in robot mode for Brainstorm, just due to the way he transforms. So, that's pretty much all there is to them in these modes. I mean, they're fun for what they are, you know. Uh, he does have wing articulation. The rest of his wings are tabbed into place, but you can't move these. I did not mention that. So, otherwise... You can move his feet as well. That's about it. Obviously, there's no articulation for a 
Starfighter, unless it's an X-Wing, which this kind of wants to be, but not quite. So, so let's get some size comparisons in here for you guys. So, for what good it does, there's some car comparisons. Hasbro, Iron Factory, Magic Square, New Age. You know the drill, as far as that goes. But let me see if I can get you guys a few more appropriate size comparisons. So for Brainstorm, here he is with an Iron Factory Seeker and the new Hasbro Core Class Starscream. So you get an idea of size there. And here he is with a New Age Seeker. Alright, and I don't have a lot of appropriate bat comparisons, but there he is with Magic Square Rat Bat, DX9 Grimlock, and Hasbro Power of the Plurums Slash. So there you go. Alright, so let's transform these guys. I'm going to go ahead and pop his headmaster out there for Blue Cat here. And probably what you're going to do here... Uh, just to show you this, these do tab in sort of weirdly here into this little notch. So you just want to untab them and sort of free the arms up there. And then his hands are holding on to a tab underneath his wings here. So just undo them. Rotate the forearms. Repeat. Fold these wings down like so and you've got his arms done so for his legs we'll start here and we'll untab this right here his toe bring that down and you can see how it just folds over the upper leg like this and then what you're going to do is take this entire foot assembly and rotate it like so and then you want to fold this like that to form his foot. This tab's right here. So just untab that and do the same. We can go ahead and take his guns off. I haven't done that. And again, in this one you're going to actually need to rotate his leg a little bit like that in order to get this upper part up here. And when you're transforming into jet mode, that is. And then just sort of the same idea here. And you can fold that landing gear in his thigh up too. All right, rotate his, let, his waist right there. And what you're going to do now is just take his chest piece right here and just fold this entire section up or down, however you want to look at it. It's going to collapse into his chest here. And then you can fold this up and that's, you can see where his tech specs are. And... Just add your headmaster here, just a port right there, and there you go. You've got Brainstorm in his robot mode. Mind wipe's pretty easy too. So again, you're just going to, I'll just start here and untab those and get his headmaster out. Now his arms in robot or in bat mode are meant to tab this tab into his hips to hold them into place so just untab those and then you can just fold his hands up and there's your arms there now you're going to take his legs and rotate them over his bat tail like that and just fold his feet down and if you want you can go with this uh this bat headed look Pretty cool. If I was out of focus that whole time, I, I really apologize, guys. I don't think I was too bad, but, but yeah, that's a that's an interesting look. The Batman. But yeah, anyway, so what you're gonna do here is just fold his head into his back cavity here, and now that frees up these wings. You can arc angle them however you want. And then just get your headmaster and poured him right in there and there's my wipe 
Pretty easy stuff, guys. Oh, gosh. Let me make sure they're posed up and everything right now. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that, everyone. My allergies are killing me today. So. But we'll take a quick look at Brainstorm here. Love this head sculpt. And since he doesn't have a faceplate, that's the other thing that kind of tells me that this is the Japanese Headmaster's version of him. Along with all this darker black plastic that's they've used here for him. But uh, yeah, uh, I mentioned the extra paint detail on Mind White, but he has some nice silver highlights with paint in a lot of places on him as well. So looks good as far as that goes. The rest of it, the rest of this is all just plastic as far as that goes but uh yeah looking good he holds his guns as you can see perfectly fine and he cleans up well on the back other than the big empty cavity here but that's to be understood with transformation and if you don't like that you have an option to cover that up by doing this and you can take these and fold the barrel in and you can just the handle into that hole there and just tuck the barrel into his foot for weapon storage or to alternatively fill out his legs a little better so that's pretty cool I like that option and then he's down uh, I will say these two in particular aren't the best at standing probably the worst Amongst them, I think Brainstorm does better than Mind Wipe, but for whatever reason, Mind Wipe just does not want to stand a lot of the time. So, even though he has totally flat feet, well, not totally flat, but I guess I do kind of see where the problem lies with him. But, um, again, very nice head sculpt, very much. Looking like the Headmaster cartoon version. And looking good all around. So they ba they're they basically going to have the same articulation as all the figures in this set do. You're not going to have any articulation on the Headmaster. Uh, the Mac Fans Toys oversized ones fix that, I think, with most of theirs. So, But you got a ball joint at the shoulder, so you know what you're getting there. Ball joint at the elbow, you know what you're getting there. No wrist articulation. This does sort of lock into place on him. So uh, he does have waist rotation, but it's kind of hard to use with his tail. So T ball joints at the hips. So you know what you're getting as far as that goes. Knees a little past 90. And no ankle articulation. So fairly limited as far as that goes, but you know, these are sort of older figures as far as third party legends go. Let me see if I can actually get him to stand up here and cooperate. He's not going to, guys. He really isn't. <sighs> really selling the figure to you guys, right? But yeah, same articulation here. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing now. I'm getting all sidetracked. Let me get you guys some size comparisons in here. Let's do that. Here they are with the big three as far as third party goes. New Age Ironhide, Magic Square Megatron, Iron Factory Runabout. Here they are with two of the only non-Mechanic Studios branded Make Fan Toys figures that I have. This is their Chrome Dome and Blaster. Chrome Dome is a KO of this line, the Unique Toys line, and... Blaster is a KO of Magic Square. And I don't know, I can't speak to the uh, aspects of the Magic Square there, but they did improve certain aspects of this Chrome Dome over the original Unique Toys Chrome Dome. So, you know, I, credit where credit's due if you're going to, you know, rip someone off, I guess. But uh, I'm glad that they are getting more into doing their own original figures because they've, they've been doing a great job with that. So, speaking of which... And lastly, here they are with a couple of MacFans Toys original figures that they branded under Mechanic Studio. Their new tracks and their new Octane. And 
they look pretty good with these guys, I think. So you can definitely see a difference between their original figures and the oversized a little bit in their sizes and as far as that goes. Just something I found interesting while I was doing this review for you all. So my final thoughts on Unique Toys Palm Collection, Blue Cat and Naughty. They're pretty fun little figures for what they are and when they were made. Um, you know, I did kind of shorthand mind wipe here a little bit in the review. He wouldn't stand up. It was, I think, mostly because I had his wings so far folded up. And that was really messing with his balance. And I failed to mention that he actually does have some ankle rocker movement here, whereas Brainstorm didn't. So that helps with his posability a little bit better, too. Um, I was a big fan of these figures, and I was happy to track them down because I have the other four sets. Now, the question is, are they good for your collection? And I have to be honest, unless you have some of the other sets, I would say no. I would say if you're really looking for the, you know, headmasters as far as the legend scale go, I would honestly just go with the Vecma toys, Mech fans toys ones. Um, you know, they're going to be cheaper for you to track down. These guys, this set in particular is hard to find for whatever reason. Uh, Ape can attest to that as well. So, you know, and like I said, unless you are trying to complete the set, uh, I'm not sure I can totally recommend these guys, but that also makes me feel like I'm short charging them. You know, they're, they're fun figures and they're absolutely fine for when they were made. And I prefer the scale to go with my other G1 figures. They fit in pretty well, in my opinion, with new age of magic square and that G1 aesthetic. And as well as, you know, make fans toys, original mechanic studios figures, as we saw. So, that's going to be my final thoughts on it. You know, if you're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. If not, just go for the easier ones that are going to be easier to get for you, honestly. So, but that's going to do it for the review. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for your time. Talk to you later.